hello. I'm out on the moors, back down in Dartmoor. Wow, it's warm. <laughs> Beautiful weather. Obviously I like it a bit cooler, but I'm not gonna complain, it's not raining. <laughs> so I'm uh, walking up this way, past Wisman Woods, which I'd like to check out, and um, I'll go beyond that for camping. There's a couple of tours beyond it. But uh, yeah, I'm on an uphill at the moment. <laughs> so I thought I'd stop and talk to you. Beautiful, really looking forward to this. It's gotten quite claustrophobic being in the woods like for the last year without being able to get out and do things like this. So really been looking forward to it. Just refreshing and open and big skies. I love it, freedom. <laughs> if I zoom you in here, you can just about see Wisman Woods there. I'm uh, heading that way and to the side of that We've got a couple of tours. I'd have to look at the map to see what ones they are. I'm actually looking to get a little lost today. Maybe not lost, but uh, adventure. I haven't got a strict plan. I'm just going to find a nice place to put down. Here we have the most dangerous predators on Dartmoor. The Dartmoor sheep. Feared by all. This woodland is beautiful. Just look at it. The lichen on the trees, the moss on the rocks, trees just coming out between the crevices. Beautiful ancient woodland. It is like Middle Earth in here. Got a nice stream, river down the bottom there, which is where I'm gonna be getting my water later. But I think I'm gonna have a walk up to them tours and uh, check them out before going on to another tour at the back where I'll probably be camping. This is Littleford Tours. Absolutely beautiful up here. I made it up. <laughs> Needed the exercise. There's some amazing panoramic views up here. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time up here and then descend back down through the woodland to that uh, stream or river and uh, follow that along. And I think it's higher white to tour that general direction. And we'll uh, see if we can find somewhere nice to camp up that way.
just had a little jaunt up the top of uh, Longerford Tor here, just for the views. It's uh, getting into early evening now, so I'm going to descend down to the river, follow that along a bit, fill up all the water I can, and then uh, find somewhere further along. I think it's higher white tour around that area. But uh, like I said, no firm plans. I do have a map. <laughs> I do know where I am, but uh, you know, I just wanted a bit of an explore. Still a little bit windy up here, but there's the stream I'm heading down to. And I'm gonna follow that round, collect water, get up on the other side. just stopped here by this gate because I've been following the stream and uh, I'm at Tinner's Hut apparently. Um, this looks like the last opening so I think this is the last chance I'm going to get to get across so I think I'm going to have to fill up with water now. Um, and higher white tours over here which is where I was kind of heading, didn't have a firm plan. What I might do is scoot around the back of it to lower white tour uh, which should be a bit more out of the uh, breeze because up there it was quite breezy. So I'll collect some water and uh, get walking. I've had a bit of a change of plan. I followed the stream a bit and it isn't um, walled in. And I found this little intersection here and uh, it's got this nice grassy area right here, which is the only flat bit around. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go right here. Once you're down on this level, the noise of the uh, stream isn't too loud either because everyone wants to camp next to a, a river, but uh, it does seem quite loud at night sometimes. But down here at this level, it's not too bad should be quite soothing. So I think I'm going to stay here rather than go on all the way round. And I do have to backtrack on myself tomorrow anyway a bit, um, because of where I'm going tomorrow night, so yeah, I'm pretty happy, I like this. It's a bit of a valley. And all the water I could want. <laughs> My filter is a bit slow. I've not used it in a while. I had to uh, back flush it and uh, it seems a bit better now. But I do have purification tablets as well. And I have walked further down here. There's uh, no contaminants up there that I can see or anything. So yeah, I might just use them. As it's not something I've done in a while, I thought I'd show you exactly what's in my pack for this trip. So this is the pack. It's um, 65 litre, I think, Caramore pack. I've got my one Tigris tent, this is the one I used recently on the canoe trip. Um, it's pitching at first, but it's, you pitch it up in under three minutes, it's really good for that. Um, I've got the Evolution Fathom EV300 sleeping bag. Because um, I've not got too many clothes with me, I thought I'd bring something that's probably just a little over what I needed, but you know. It'll fit and the pack's pretty light. I'll put the weight on the screen now because I don't know what it is. Um, this is just some uh, thermals in a um, stuff sack pillow. Got a waterproof jacket and trousers down the bottom just in case. Shouldn't need them though. Uh, this is a possible pouch. So this has got everything from a toothbrush to my headlamp in it. Uh, this one's like a brew kit and um, a spork and stuff. This is two titanium pots and cups together nested. We've got a uh, first aid kit, my Nalgene water bottle, little lantern for in the tent, my water purification stuff, a little sit pad, 
this is some sun cream because it is pretty sunny uh, these are padded uh, plasters or adhesive bandages whatever you want to call them uh, just in case because I've got some new boots on <laughs> uh, this is a ground sheet this is a Trekology uh, sleep mat inflatable one this is some methylated spirits uh, for the stove this is uh, all my food for this um, little trip or for this leg of it I've got to go back past the truck for the other leg tomorrow so I'm just going to grab the food as I pass and other than my camera gear uh, that's about it Well, as always, wild camping, you don't necessarily always find the most perfect spot. But that's pretty good actually and pretty flat. Obviously, it's a bit lower here on this side, but the inside where I'll be sleeping is nice and flat. So, quite happy with that. Quite happy with the location. Got a bit of sun left. It's a good time. I'm just sat at the moment waiting for this sun to go down over this ridge here. And I've got some British Army ration sesame seed snacks just to keep me going. I think I deserve a bit of a brew. So I'm on the kind of beach of the stream here. A very simple pot stand. And a wind guard. That should work out.
you can see I've got my thermal top on already once that sun was gone really started to chill down went to try and see the sunset instead I found sheep bones <laughs> got a rib maybe a femur or something uh, some kind of pelvis <laughs> wouldn't be a trip to Dartmoor without finding some bones so many animals up here while there's still a bit of light I'm going to start my dinner might have enough fuel in there a little pot stand and dinner is pasta bolognese a wayfarer meal I got these a year ago for coming down here which never happened so I'm just gonna roll that up put it in the cup gonna squidge it down do the old trick of lighting a little stick or something to light the stove which is going and we've got no wind here because of the tent so I don't need the uh... there we go Gonna give this meal a bit of a mix up in case any bits got hotter than others. Definitely feels hot. <laughs> Use the tear line. Mm. Smells alright to me. Got the titanium spork. Ooh. Yeah, not bad. Should fill a hole. I do have a dessert one as well, so we'll see. I did eat a cinnamon bun earlier when I was snacking <laughs> with my tea. And that one was from a US MRE. Bit of a mixture. really enjoyed that meal and I thought I'd go with the dessert as well so I've got that going at the moment I think I've earned it all this walking so as you may be able to see this is a sticky toffee pudding I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of sauce in there oh no just like a, a slab of sponge with uh, <laughs> sauce on it. Let's get a little out. It does feel hot. Here goes. Mm. That's really nice actually. Mm. I think I'm going to enjoy this. <laughs> It's got very misty outside, I can feel the kind of damp in the air, so we're going to have a lot of condensation in here by the morning, but I'm sure it's going to be sunny, so it should dry out okay. But I'm pretty much done, I think, so I'll see you guys in the morning. a bit different this morning than it was yesterday <laughs> the mist is lifting a little bit now but uh, yeah it's a bit of a chill in the air hoping the sun's gonna come up a bit more and uh, warm up it's still quite early I think I'm gonna have some breakfast first and get all packed up and move on got a uh, beans and sausages
Get that crammed in there. This one's hot. <laughs> I did this one a little longer because I'm a bit chilly. A bit of fuel for that walk back. I'm only walking along the river here, um, which is pretty flat in the sort of topography, but uh, just wondering how hard going it is on the ground because some of the ground on Dartmoor is less than ideal, boggy or got this clumpy grass that's you know up crutch high so it's quite hard to walk through hmm. oh, this should set me up looking forward to a new location Here's one of them boggy areas I'm going to have to walk around. You can see the Wisman Woods in the background there. So I'm just going to have to go up and round. Near a cuckoo. <laughs> Look at this. Can't see 100 metres in front of me. <laughs> yeah, it's gone quite foggy again. Um, I've walked down uh, to like Post Bridge area and I'm walking back into the moors and I'm going north towards Fernworthy Forest. So that's quite easy for me to make my way back if it's still like this tomorrow morning. North and then south in the morning. We'll see. But yeah, making my way towards Fernworthy Forest. Hoping to catch a glimpse of it, camp somewhere near it, look for a nice spot around there. I think there's some settlements along the route. Um, yeah, make tracks. quite hard going. I'm not on any path, I'm just kind of trying to follow sheep runs and wade through this. <laughs> it's all quite wet from the fog. Uh, keep losing my orientation having to check. Uh, right now I've got a tiny little shrub over there as a bit of a waypoint. But yeah, when you're kind of avoiding the brush and everything you keep getting turned around. Right now I'm trying to 
navigate my way through this very boggy bit here to get over to this small tree line find a way around well it was some work but I made it across that bog the whole of that kind of valley is boggy and you just can't see where where you can go <laughs> uh, made it up to these kind of fir trees and heading that direction so I think I'm about halfway towards the forest so it's about the sort of time I thought um, thought I'd stop and have a little snack I have an MRE ration pizza slice. I was after these for ages and then it's sat there for ages because <laughs> they're one of the newer ones. Um, I've got some cheese spread with jalapenos and some crackers. And because I'm saving the fuel for later, I did pack one of these. So I've taken the element out and I'm uh, putting both in together. The pizza slice and the element. You really don't need much water for these. Tiny, can I get a tiny bit? Yeah. Put that over and put it in its sleeve. Handy to have these uh, rations. I've generally got at least a couple at home and you can just grab sank if you're off on a trip, even if it's just for snacks on the go. Oh, good hiss. <laughs> Are these all in bits? Oh, they're not too bad. Must be like jalapeno cheese. The mist or fog is starting to lift over that way, and I can confirm I am moving in the right direction because I can see Fernworthy Forest. Yeah, it's just starting to lift, so I hope you will get a bit of sun. It's trying to poke through. Well, I did catch a glimpse of the forest through the mist when I was having lunch, but yeah, completely gone now completely covered again <laughs> but I'm still heading north and just like that it reveals itself nearly there Doesn't this look a bit different? <laughs> Could be in Scotland or Sweden looking around. A bit different from out on the moors and there's just no mist in here at all. Couldn't see it until I was on top of it and then in here. Clear as day. quite a lot of these remains of settlements and uh, stone circles and things scattered around Dartmoor. Just stumbled across one here in the middle of the woodland with an amazing view down there with two rows of stones leading down. Beautiful.
having a little break down by the lake here. Got the map out. Um, there's quite a lot of wind I noticed on the way down coming from the west, which is where I was going to go. So just kind of can have a look at the map and see what other options I've got. There's more over to the west and you've got a lot of streams and things over there as well for water. So we shall see. I'll have a little examine and just enjoy the views. Been a long time since I've been here. If you're interested in that video, it was um, I think I called it a snowstorm camp or something. I was down here in May, and yeah, it was a bit of a, a blizzard out of nowhere, which I was not expecting. That was my first trip to Dartmoor as well. Oh, and the sun's coming out. Made it out the other side. <laughs> that was a bit of a slog, a lot of it uphill. In the distance there, the cluster of trees is uh, Tynehead Farm, where I've camped before, so I don't think I really want to do it again unless I do need the cover. We'll see what it's like as I walk out there further. <laughs> but uh, I think I need some water first. Right, so thinking up a plan, I'm down here by the bridge, just done my water. I came from up there in the middle of them, all that forest. Now, behind me, over there, is the Tynehead Farm, but I've done that before. But I would like some shelter from this wind, mainly for you guys. So I'm thinking of tucking into the west of the woods up there seeing if that works, at least giving it a, an explore and seeing what the options up there are like. I can always come back down. The wind was coming in at an angle and wrapping around the, the forest, so that spot was no good. In fact, it was worse because it was on higher ground. So, I'm going to tuck in somewhere around the ruins of the old farm, find a nice spot, maybe the one I used before, who knows.
Oh, I'm done. <laughs> Luckily, there is less wind in here, so I'm happy. But I needn't have bothered walking all the way up there and with the extra water. <laughs> Never mind, we're here. Find a spot in amongst the ruins here. I do like it, it is beautiful. And the mist is coming in again. <laughs> oh dear. Could see the forest a minute ago, and it's just blowing back in again. Just keeps doing that. Coming in and then you see the sun for a second. Well, the keen-eyed amongst you would notice this is the same spot that I was in last time I was here years ago. Um, that was the fireplace I used because it was here already and I got that sort of flash snowstorm. Um, otherwise, wouldn't have any fires up here, which I won't be tonight. Um, but yeah, this is the flattest spot in all these ruins and feels like I'm out of the uh, wind. So here it is. have a nice brew before I finish getting set up. I've got an oatmeal cookie from a ration pack too, so I'm looking forward to a little snack because I'm starving. Well, I've got my cuppa. And my oatmeal cookie, TFF, which I've already nibbled on. Mmm. Cinnamony. Really need this before I carry on. <laughs> it's been a long day. Good day, but a long day. Especially that last bit was quite a slog. My dogs are barking. My little kitchen is set up in the vestibule of the tent. Tonight I've got a bean chilli from a British Army ration pack, followed by a cherry cobbler from an American MRE. Here it goes for my vegetarian dinner. Just happened to be what I had at home. <laughs> Some big beans and peas and tomatoes. 
It's hot. That's what I care about right now. Hmm. Hmm. It's okay. There's no meat, but it's okay. Hmm. I'm more looking forward to the cherry cobbler, to be honest. <laughs> Looking out around, I can't see beyond the boundaries of the farm now. <laughs> Mist has come in all the, way, all the way around. I think the wind's died down though. It's time to look at this cobbler. Ooh. Look at that. Oh, it's boiling hot too. <laughs> That's a nice sweet hit. Mm. Sounds like the wind's picking up out there. It's got a bit later now. I've just had a hot chocolate which I mixed in some uh, non-dairy creamer from an MRE just to make it a bit nicer. And yeah, I think I'm going to turn in early, get an early start tomorrow. I've got quite a big walk back. Good morning. I've still got my thermals on under here. It's a little bit chilly today. Um, very foggy still. The tent's pretty wet from the fog. Every now and again the wind will knock the tree and loads of the water it's collected will fall down. But uh, got a nice morning call from a cuckoo. I know why they made that into the clock now. <laughs> it just would not stop. It was right above the tent. But there's worse things to be woken up to. And I did get back to sleep for another hour or so. I'm just setting up for breakfast now. Just a little bit of energy for that walk back. Which I'm not sure exactly which way I'm going to go. I'm going to skirt around the outsides of the forest. Which I currently cannot see. <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, make my way down. So maybe not the exact route that I came in. But uh, not too far away from it. So today's meal is um, instant porridge, which is from a Dutch ration pack. Uh, it is technically out of date, but I'm sure it will be fine. And I need 125 to 150 milliliters. This starts at 300, but it does have a halfway line, so we go just below that. And get that heating up. Oh, 
and I'll leave that to sit for a bit. Well, I think I'm gonna leave you guys here. It's starting to rain a little now, so I need to put the camera away, concentrate on the walk back. So I'm gonna get some water, get going, and thank you for watching. See you again soon.